This is the big red one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, Orcs Ed Magic, and it's Jordan here. And this deck tech is a bit unusual and a bit strange because this actually comes from a comment on our giveaway video. Adonaz, who has been following us for quite some time, I believe he was in the early 50s <laughs> when he first uh, found us, um, he has challenged us because, of course, he's been following our videos and he realizes that we have opened up a beautiful playset of uh, the Burning Sun's avatar. And uh, he put a challenge down to us to uh, what deck are we going to brew to build around our beautiful playset. Of which I was like, can I not just cheat and use Saffron Olive's Treasure Revolt Ramp deck, which quite frankly is gorgeous <laughs> and I'm very tempted to play. And he said, you could, but that'd be a bit cheaty. So anyhow, I went away. I've uh, looked at what I can do in standard currently. And um, drawing on the powers of Luke and what he's done something in previous standard format, I have um, sort of come to the table with an unusual deck. So here is my deck, Big Red Ixalan Edition, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just jump straight in. We'll go through the creature base and go from there. So, to begin with, in the one drop slot, we are running Boma Couriers and Soul Scar Mages. Obviously, the Boma Courier is well known at the moment. It is currently run in the Ramanap Red Strategy. This is a pseudo card draw engine. It doesn't do much on its own to begin with, but then as you go through the, go through the deck, you can get more and more cards from it if it's left unchecked. Soul Scar Mage hasn't seen much play. Uh, I think it's a very good one drop, and I've always quite liked it. Uh, the fact that obviously damage you deal to your opponent's creatures comes in the form of negative one counters, which can get around some of the pesky gods that are flying around sand at the moment. And uh, yeah, also it's got prowess, so obviously it can pump itself up with spell casting. Moving on into the two drop stop, we have Karizev Skyship Raider. Now, this is a pet card for me. I was running her in my Boros Human Token Generation, generation deck. Uh, I loved her. She was really fun to play with. The fact is, she's got First Strike, she's got Menace, and for two mana, she's a 1-3, and she's also bringing a 2-1 to the table as well. So she is effectively bringing three power. Three power across two bodies, which is sweet. So the fact is you're generally getting in with her most of the time. Moving on into the three drop slot, we have Captain Lanry Storm and Lathnu Hellion. Captain Storm obviously uh, has haste, it's 2-2, and whenever it attacks, it generates a treasure token. And if we ever sacrifice a treasure token, uh, Lanry Storm gets plus one plus all until the end of turn. So this can sort of combat trade up, but generally you want to be using the token for other things, like a little bit of ramp in this deck in this case. Uh, it can also be a pseudo red mana to obviously help sacrifice your Bowmark Courier if it's then going to be removed. So think about it that way. The Lafnu Hellion is a... 3 mana 4-4, four, four, which is sweet. Ends the battlefield, you get 2 energy, and at the beginning of your end step, you have to sacrifice it unless you pay 2 energy. So, there is a downside to running it, however, it can work as a pseudo sort of big rush strategy. It's very sweet. Moving on into the 5 drop. Yes, I did say 5 drop. We are not running any 4 drops. This is deck is designed to be low to the ground as possible, slightly. We have Neheb the Eternal. Yes. This has come from when I was building the uh, Jund Razzle Dazzle deck, which is rather sweet. Uh, Neheb the Eternal himself is a 5 mana, he's a 4 6 with a flick 3. But at the beginning of main phase 2, or post combat main phase as they call it, you get to add 1 red mana to your mana pool for each life your opponent has lost this turn. So if they take any damage from creatures, uh, for each one of those damage you are getting a mana to spend. So here is the ramp type of strategy that I am running. Moving on in to the six drop slots, we are running the card name of Burning Sun's avatar. This card, yes, yes, I am running it. I'm running the full playset as well, just for you, Adonaz. And we have Sun Crowned Hunters. So Burning Sun's avatar is a 6-6 six, six for 6, which is obviously works very nicely. And when it enters the battlefield, you get to do 3 damage to your opponent and 3 damage to one target creature. So if you've got Neheb on the board and he survives, you're getting at least 3 mana guaranteed. 
The Crown Hunters has an enrage mechanic for, and it's a 5-4 body and whenever it's dealt damage it does 3 to target opponent. So moving on uh, we have then our spells. So the spells that we are running in this deck we have Two off of Vance's Blasting Cannons. So at the beginning of your upkeep, you get to exile the top card of your library, and if it's a non-line card, you get to cast it that turn. And whenever you cast your third spell this turn, it transforms Vance's Blasting Cannon into the Spitfire Bastion. Uh, this obviously taps for a single red mana, or you can pay three and tap it, and you deal three damage to target creature or target player. So again, if you've got Nehab out, this can also help ramp you late game, which is rather sweet. We then have two offs of a Magma Spray and Shock. Uh, Magma Spray is obviously to deal with the pesky um, reanimating creatures. Shock is obviously to deal two damage to our opponent, generally most of the time, or we're just doing it to have a combat trick against our opponents to sort of maybe one up in the combat. We then have our last spell of the deck, which is a four off a Lightning Strike. Uh, this is purely to do three damage to, again, generally the target player because we want to ramp with Neheb. Or we are doing it to um, obviously remove blockers out of the way. Moving on into the lands, the main body of this is 16 mountains. Yep, we are going heavily on the mountains strategy. And then we have a 4 off of Ramanap Ruins and a 2 off of Sunscorched Desert. This obviously just gives us more damage to go with. And obviously the Sunscorched Desert just allows us to be sack to the Ramanap Ruins to get extra triggers. And so yeah, so it works quite well. So it's a bit of, it's a bit, I have taken elements of Ram and Up Red, but I've delved it more towards being a big red deck. Moving on in to the sideboard, we are running the two off of Mango Spray. This is obviously to bring it up to four. We also have another Shock in there as well. Then we have a four off a Sentinel Totem. This is to stop the graveyard shenanigans, which are running around it quite rife at the moment. And we then have four off of Hardness Lightning. Benefit with this obviously is um, we can remove some bigger creatures. Also, it will provide us a little bit more energy for the Laugh New Hellions if we need to keep them on the board. And our final card of the sideboard is Sweltering Suns. This is obviously to bring in against uh, aggressive strategies and uh, to deal with them appropriately. I was debating obviously about running Rampaging Ferocidon in the sideboard. Decided against it because I realized how heavy I am on the creature strategy and how much it would affect my board state. But anyway, so this is Big Red Ixalan Edition. I would love to know your thoughts and feelings. Obviously, this is a big shout out to my uh, comments, guys, who do leave comments. Um, if you have any suggestions for decks, please, 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 either leave a comment below or contact me through Twitter. Um, I've done it a couple of times now for different people, and the results have been fantastic and very popular. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to uh, let me know of a deck suggestion or sort of an interaction you want me to work around, I'll happily talk to you guys and we'll uh, go from there. So, I've been your host, Jordan, from Oxid Magic, signing off. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember to hit that like button and support the channel for free. Uh, also, subscribe. And remember, if you don't want to miss any videos, hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Thank you for watching again. Goodbye.